Hello, I'm Lionel. Today, I will show you a minority type of time lapse. Building time lapse. To making a building time lapse, the ideal condition is shooting on a constant position, recording the whole process of the building construction. For example, you can set up your tripod on a balcony or in front of the window. Record once every day using the After Effect Blender app. Render our video. Today, I want to talk about how to take it in non-ideal situation. There are three key points. Setting up the tripod, pointing lens, and camera setting. Next, I will describe three key points in detail. Setting up the tripod. Try to keep your tripod in the same location on each shot. As you can see, there are two kinds of ground. This one is composed by brick. Another is asphalt roll, which is much more cleaner. I suggest shooting on the ground, which you can chuck easier. Fixed focal length is recommended. Because the autofocus results may not be the same every day. Wall format will facilitate the post-production. Low ISO for quality assurance. Small aperture can obtain a wide depth of field. It will avoid virtual focus. Adjust the shutter to the appropriate exposure value. Pointing lens. Try your best to point the same angle every time you shot. Geared head is recommended. Ball head is also okay for cost reduction. Then, I will introduce a simple method to point your lens. First, I adjusted the lens to a suitable angle. Try to make a common point with the grid and the building. After adjusting the angle, pick three points in your camera screen, forming a triangle. The tip and horizontal line has a common point. This horizontal line and the roof of this building also has a common point. Increase the brightness to facilitate the observation. This column and this oblique line achieve a common point as well. I take this three point as my alignment point. Aligning this three point before each shot and then fine tune. This is a picture I took yesterday. Try to take a picture after aligning these three points. There is a little difference between the two pictures. You can observe the alignment points and find the difference. Through this alignment point in the bottom of the column, we can see that it appears too much left. So I need to swing my lens a little bit left. Try again. Compare again. Pretty good on the overall view. Enlarge it. Roughly coincide as well. Then quickly scroll and do comparison. That's the simple method to align the photo. What I just described is a simple alignment method. It's hard to shoot the same photo every day by using this method. But post-production can satisfy your final result. Let's have a look at the effect of the original film.